So what are the responsibilities of these elders? It can, it can be weird right now. This kind of sermon can be weird because I'm basically teaching you my job description. I'm teaching you what I should be doing. And that's a good thing because you need to know what your elders, myself, Pastor Nate and Pastor James, you need to know what the scripture says we should be doing so that you can not lord it over us or not bludgeon us if we are falling short, but you can know what we're supposed to be doing and you can come to us if we're not doing that. You need to know what, what my job is, what Nate's job is, what James' job is. And what are the responsibilities of the elders? What God says in his word. Those are the responsibilities. We don't add to that. We don't take away from that. And they are at least these things. Praying and studying scripture, Acts 6.4. Ruling and leading the church. 1 Timothy 5.17 Managing the church 1 Timothy 3, 4-5 Caring for the people in the church 1 Peter 5, 2-5 where we're in today Living exemplary lives Hebrews 13, 7 Rightly using the authority God has given them Acts 20, 28 Teaching the Bible correctly Ephesians 4.11 and 1 Timothy 3.2 Preaching, 1 Timothy 5, 17. Praying for the sick, James 5, 13 through 15. Teaching sound or healthy doctrine and refuting false teachings, Titus 1, 9. Working hard, 1 Thessalonians 5, 12. Rightly using money and power, 1 Peter 5, 1 through 3. Protecting the church from false teachers, Acts 20, 17-31, disciplining unrepentant Christians, Matthew 18, 15-17, giving account to God for the church, Hebrews 13, 17, equipping the saints, that's you, for the work of ministry, Ephesians 4, 12, and finally, developing, training, and equipping other elders. Ephesians 4, 11 through 16, and 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 2. Those are the responsibilities, at least. There are probably more that I've missed or that others have missed, but those are at least the responsibilities of the elders, and they are a lot. In our membership covenant, we have all of those responsibilities detailed, bullet-pointed, listed with Scripture references so that you on becoming a covenant member of Ecclesia, either Muskogee or Eufaula, you will know what we should be doing as your elders. And also, what it has detailed is what you should be doing according to the scripture as a member of the local body. So a membership covenant, to become a member of a local church, we believe it should be clear what the elders' jobs are and what the job of a member is. And we're both looking at it and saying, yes, this is a good summary of what the Scripture says we should both be doing and be about. And so to the best of our ability, by the grace of God, we are agreeing, I will aim for this. The membership covenant is just as much what the pastors are promising to be for you than what you're promising to be for the church at large. Those are the responsibilities of the elders.